If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. If you're getting off track and you want to get back, may take a lot of work, won't break your back. If you want a revolution, the only solution is ball. Well, there once was a guy who couldn't jump high. Hi, welcome to Out of the Blue. Tonight we're going to review our second disc in the Alien Anthology box set. And the second disc would be Aliens. So, first of all, we have the original version, the theatrical version, which is the 1986 theatrical version of the original Aliens. And I can tell you, Vince, for the longest time, Aliens was like my all-time favorite movie. I mean, I just absolutely loved Aliens. I mean, it was had everything you know that I loved about movies in this single film. And I, I would agree with that to a point. It was one, one of my favorite films of all time, but not my, my absolute favorite film of all time, but... One of, of my favorites. Not now it isn't, but at the time I saw it, it had blown away everything I'd ever saw at the theaters. I mean, it was just that amazing. And like the original Alien, the transfer here, you, you don't get any better than this. I mean, literally, you don't get any better than this transfer. Oh, oh I agree. Definitely. I mean, it's just out of this world amazing. I mean, it's just... just and and this is just the theatrical version, and it's just it's just amazing. The sound is absolutely superb. the The picture is as absolutely crisp and clear, and and it just it'll blow your mind. This is the reason to own a Blu-ray player is for when they bring things out like this. And you know I've seen Aliens probably over a hundred, two hundred times at the most, but when you watch it. On Blu-ray, it's like you've never seen it before. It's like you see all this detail and everything they, you know, worked so hard to put in the film, you finally get to see it in here. Like like most movies I've ever seen this film was either on video or on television, and usually watching it like that on VHS or on tele, especially on television, it's so dark you can't make out half of what's going on. So to see it with this much clarity, you, it's like bringing you into a brand new world. Yeah, that's what I mean. You get to see what the filmmaker, what, what James Cameron originally intended for you to see. It's just like the textures and everything. It, it, it is like you're standing there on set while they were filming the movie. That's how amazingly sharp and clear this movie is. And what do we have next on the disc? We have the 1991 special edition version of Aliens. I, oh my God! I mean, it, it is, it is everything you loved about the theatrical version times ten. Well, if you watched my first review for the original Alien, there's two versions of that on there as well, and I actually prefer the original over the extended one on that one because I think the original had better pacing than the, than the extended one. I thought the extended one slowed it down a little bit. But this is the total opposite. I mean, this, it was amazing, like what Vince is saying. There's so much more put into the film. You didn't think it could get any better, but there's like a one gigantic sequence that was completely cut out of the movie. You know, and then they had the, the gun turrets to set up, you know, for the, the aliens when they were getting closer, and they were like motion detecting. I love that scene. It's like one of my favorite scenes in the movie, and it was cut out. This, this is the definitive version of Aliens, and I just pretend that the other one never existed. I don't even bother with the theatrical version anymore because the special edition is so much better. And there's so much that was cut out of it and then put back in. It's just, it, it's wild. It's almost like, a, it almost becomes another story. And the next thing that we, is on here is the audio commentaries by a lot of people. There's a lot of people who do the audio commentaries. Different ways you want me to tell this Peter story. Lamont was the production designer. He came up with a very simple and austere look for our future sets. 
I watched this film recently and I was actually kind of amazed at how little we see of the conventional future world as opposed to the spacecraft interiors and so on. James Cameron did a great commentary here. It's really great commentary to listen to. And it really, you know, opens your opens your eyes to what the Hollywood, the whole Hollywood thing is. Because all those scenes we were talking about the, that they were taken out of the movie, you know, he refused to take them out of the movie. He's like, he said the movie was too long in, in the commentary, and he's like, well, I'm not cutting all these scenes out of the movie. and But they, they forced him to cut out the major scene where they show the planet, you know, before the alien attack. It's like, that was always in the movie. He always intended for that to be in the movie. And then they're like, well, it's too long, so you have to cut something out. So they cut that entire scene out just to make the movie shorter, and he was not very happy with it. I, I don't blame him. <laughs> and the scene with Sigourney Weaver when she finds out her, her kid's dead, or they show the picture of the kid, you know, when, when she's like 80 or 90 years old, and she realizes that she misses her entire childhood. She basically says on a commentary, that was the reason she wanted to do the movie, because of that scene, and they cut the scene out. But it's funny, because all those scenes... I mean, just that one scene right there, especially, gives a whole new meaning to why she, later on in the film she goes back in for Newt. So what do we got up next? The final theatrical isolated score by James Horner. Basically what this is, is you can watch the movie with just the score, no sound effects, no dialogue, and you kind of just sit there and watch the film with the music score playing. And I mean, if that's your thing, that's, that's great, but it's kind of not so exciting, I don't think, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then the next, the next uh, feature, of course, is the composer's original isolated score, again by James Warner. I have to say this though, this is actually one of the better scores out of out of the Alien movies too. I mean, it is it is an awesome score. So it's it's worth listening to if you're I mean if you're into movie soundtracks and movie movie scores like that, then it's I mean it's fantastic to listen to. It, it's in one of the better ones. Next up, we have the deleted and ex extended scenes. So basically, I guess if you watch the special edition, I think you've already seen most of the deleted or all of the deleted and extended scenes on there. Yeah, so it's it just kind of rehash. You you actually get to see them separate from the movie, so... Yeah, so you can kind of see what they did and didn't add back into the film. So that's kind of nice for somebody who's not familiar with the movie. They can sit and watch it and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe all this stuff was added back into this film. Then we come to the mother mode for aliens, which I haven't actually checked out. <laughs> well, my DVD player, my Blu-ray player, won't actually access this. Only certain Blu-ray players you can use this mother mode on. I think you have to have some sort of memory card or something inside your DVD player. So I actually could not play this myself either. And I gotta say, after all these years, this movie still holds up. I mean, this could come out tomorrow and still be the massive blockbuster that it was back in 1981 or 1986 that it was. I mean, movies are a classic for a reason. I mean, a classic film is you can rewatch it and watch it and watch it over, and it never gets old. And it's just as exciting watching it 20 years later as it was when you watched it the day it came out. And that's what Aliens is. I, I, actually, Alien and Aliens is a lot like that, especially now since they're here on Blu-ray in this box set. I mean, it's I, I enjoy watching it as much now as I did back then. So now we are going to move on to disc three, which is Alien 3. So go to the next review and 
you can see what we thought about the next disc in this anthology.